Lindsay Hendricks again at Green Bay Botanical Garden. Today we are on our South Terrace lawn, which is right outside the visitor center. If you come and enter the gardens, this is gonna be one of the first places that you see. And in this garden, we have a lot of annuals that we try to mix in amongst all of our perennials. Um, and the reason that we do that is because typically perennials have like a limited bloom period for a couple weeks in the summer, but annuals have a bloom period of basically the entire summer that they're planted. So that's why we like to mix the two together. But we also get a lot of questions of, you know, the difference between annuals and perennials. Um, how do you know the difference? And you know, why would you wanna grow both in your landscape? So first off, an annual is a plant that completes its life cycle in one growing season. So basically it starts from seed, you plant it, it grows, it flowers all summer, and then it dies at the end of the year because it can't live more than a year. Perennials on the other hand can survive the winters if they're planted in your correct zone and they come back year after year. And those typically have a bloom period of just a couple weeks throughout um, the growing season and then you know, they're just kind of green and have their foliage the rest of the year. So if you mix the two together, you can have a really great um, season long interest in color in your garden. So up here in the South Terrace, you can see a lot of, we have a lot of pinks was kind of my theme up here this year. Some iris sign, impatiens, cannas, um, a penicetum grass, Prince is a cultivar that gets really big. That's an annual grass. And then this big tall guy back here is the castor bean. That is an annual that we started from seed and that's just how big it can get in one season. So how do you know if it's an annual or a perennial? Well, the best way to do that is when you buy plants, um, check the tag. Most plants come with tags. Most annuals are labeled annual and most perennials are either labeled perennial or will have a hardiness zone attached to them. So here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, I think we're around a zone 5A, 5B, depending on the season. So anything that's hardy to zone five or below will survive our winters. A lot of tropicals are zone nine or 10 that can't survive our winters here in Green Bay, but they can survive further south or in tropical climates. So some examples of tropicals that are technically annuals in Wisconsin, but can be saved over winter here are canna lilies, which this Pretoria canna right here, and then we also have elephant ears and some other areas of the garden. And then these dahlias, those are bulbs that you can lift in fall and overwinter them and then plant them again next year. So we have a really great blog on our websites um, that talks about the different bulbs and how to dig them up and overwinter them and store them so you can enjoy them for many years to come throughout your garden. So again, um, annuals, you know, only last one season. They bloom the whole summer. Um, but then they die at the end of the year and once we start getting frost here in the garden you know you're going to want to start pulling them or they'll turn black so that's a good way to know if they're dead and you need to remove them from their garden if they're black and not looking very good and perennials um, at the end of the season you know after frost we typically wait to start cutting stuff back perennials can be cut to the ground either in fall or spring depending on your preference if you want to support uh, insect habitat pollinators beneficials we usually cut our stuff back in spring, but sometimes at the garden we cut it back in fall just because it's easier to clean everything up. Um, and then that way when spring comes, we're set to get going in the garden um, and everything's all cleaned up right away. So those are a little bit of information about annuals and perennials, how to know the difference. Um, you know, always, you can always Google to, to find out more information about your plants if it's considered an annual or a perennial. But mixing both in your garden can add a lot of color to your landscape and provide season long interest. Um, so you can come check us out at the garden to see where we have a lot of annuals mixed with perennials So you can kind of get some ideas for your yard at home and as always check out our website for more behind the scenes information and Blog posts covering a lot of the topics that we don't get to talk about on TV. Thank you